And because of that, I have gone ahead and named our two children with only African names. The first born boy being Gitahi Gitahi Kingori and the second born girl being Washera Wanjiro Kingori. If they feel that they truly need an English name later on in their lives, they can simply add it onto their names as I dropped mine when I became an adult. Hi everyone, I finally changed my name. If you look at my birth certificate, I was born Benson Kingorai in Nakuru County. And I overheard from my mother that she gave me that name because she had gone to visit a friend of hers whose boy was named Benson and therefore she really loved the name. And therefore she gave me the name when I was born. It's a name that I must have liked when I was young and my good friend uh, Kennedy Otieno in my primary school days called me Ben King. And when I was in high school, I used to call myself King Ben from Taiwan. Taiwan in this case being Tiwani. An Aslam in the outskirts of Kitale town. I donned the name until I left high school in 2004 and somewhere around 2005 when I was an untrained teacher at Mount Emoru Academy awaiting to join college at KU, I dropped it. It must have been through the interaction with my colleague Mr. Kulecho, a graduate of the UON, that I decided to drop the English name. That means that none of my college friends and later on my workmates ever knew my English name. I have two reasons for dropping the English name. The first reason, which is actually the main reason at about 80%, is that I believe, allow me to repeat that, I believe, meaning that it is my personal opinion that Africans should only have African names. This reminds me of the story of how Professor Makao Mutua dropped his English name. He introduced himself as Robert in an all-white church in the U.S. And after the church service, an elderly white parishioner asked him why he had taken the European name. The white man wondered whether all African names had been taken, in other words, finished, leaving none for him. If you want to know how weird it sounds for an African to have an English name, think about a Chinese or a Japanese or an Indian introducing himself as John, Brian or Daniel. Of course, I know that there are Chinese with these kind of names. But if a Chinese introduces himself to me with a name other than Wu Ching Chao, I would doubt of his Chineseness. And because of that, I have gone ahead and named our two children with only African names. The first born boy being Gitahi Gitahi Kingori and the second born girl being Washera Wanjiro Kingori. If they feel that they truly need an English name later on in their lives, they can simply add it onto their names as I dropped mine when I became an adult. The second reason for changing my name, which forms about 20% of the reason, is that I really got iked when I came to realize that some people, especially politicians, who only use African names, actually had English names, what I can call silent English names. The names were actually there, but they have only been silenced. This trend has continued to today's politicians who like to identify themselves with the only African names but still have their English names in their identity documents. This is something that I couldn't stomach. For me, it is akin to living a double standard lifestyle. No wonder politicians have these double standard lifestyles. They want to pretend that they care for us, but in the real sense, they only care about themselves. If I am to use African names, then I have to genuinely only use African names and not silencing the English name. In conclusion, I know someone will want to know the process of changing one's name. The process is simple. You simply go to a lawyer and get a deed poll. I personally paid 30,000 Kenyan shillings back in 2013 for the same. But unfortunately, my documents got lost along the way and I had to reapply around 2020. In 2022, my deed poll was out, but a series of delays and misapplications meant that my new ID card only came out in May 2024. The only issue that I have with my new ID is that it has an expiry date, meaning at around 2034, I shall not be a Kenyan, and I have to reapply for me to be a Kenyan again. I know that they just want to make more money from us, but this one is a little bit weird. I think they can charge for the passport years, but for the ID card, it should be free. Come on, Zakayo. The other issue is with my paternal relatives, who actually know me by the name Ben. My mother is actually called Ninawa Ben. And I don't know what I'm going to do so that they can forget about the name and kill it from their minds. 
One of them has suggested, my cousin Carol, that I should make a sacrifice of a goat so that they can do this offering and this will make them forget about the name. We shall see about that. Thank you so much. I'm out.